What is one heart encoding and why do we use it? Imagine you want to solve an image classification problem where the input is an image. You want your algorithm to output a single label or category that best describes the input image. You're training it to output one of the following five categories. Elephant, table, tomato, helmet, and unknown. The one heart encoding for the above class labels will use a vector whose length is the same as the number of classes, which in this case is five. In this representation, we set only one element of the vector to one for a particular class. For example, we represent the elephant class using one, zero, 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 zero. The first element is one and the rest are zero. We can represent the table class using zero, one, zero, zero, zero. The second element is one and the rest are zero. Similarly, we can encode the tomato class as 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And the pattern follows for encoding helmet and unknown. Why is this representation called one heart encoding? The term comes from electrical engineering. In a digital circuit, when a line has a signal or digital state of one, we call it heart. In this representation, only one element of the vector is heart, so we call it one heart encoding. Even in real life, if you think someone is hot, they may be the one. 